Hello everybody, my name is Gawai Shen and my metric number is CB17134. Today, the topic that I will discuss about is related to Western Civilization. What is Western Civilization? Western Civilization is based on deep root intellectual foundation that date back as far as ancient Greek and Roman cultures. How to how we recognize Western civilization? There are five characteristics that help us to recognize what is Western civilization. The first characteristic is the flaw knowledge of the divinity. The second characteristic is the materialistic propensity. And the third characteristic to recognize the Western civilization is the circular tendency. Fourth is related about conflict. Last of the characteristic to help us to recognize Western civilization is feelings of superiority. Beside of the five characteristics that help us to recognize Western civilization, next we're gonna talk about the negative aspect and the positive aspect about the Western civilization. For the negative aspect about Western civilization are odds with religion, virtue and the human principle based on this religious dinner and ethics. The second negative aspect is compromise human civilization and lead to crisis, conflicts and wars among states. And the last for the negative aspect about this, uh, Western civilization is spur the drives of evil, jeopardize the advance of science, knowledge, art and literature. Next, we're going to talk about positive aspect about the Western Civilization. First positive aspect about the Western Civilization is benefiting hum humanity. The second is about the progress of science technology. In the progress of science te and technology, they separate into two. That is, first industrial area era and the second industrial era. For the first industrial era, experiment the physical effort thanks to the introduction of machine. For the second industrial era, the computer which carried out tremendous, com tremendously complex operation experiment the mental effort. Computer technology has been introduced into the Islamic scientific life especially in the discipline related to the study of the Quran. The formative tradition, linguistic, literature and many other disciplines. And for the third positive aspect about the Western civilization is the psychological and rational atmosphere. And the last of the uh, positive aspect about the Western civilization is the individual freedom and basic rights. That's all for my uh, discussion about the topic Western civilization. Thank you. Our presentation entitled Western Civilization Culture. My name is Divya Darshini, Doctor of Ulanganathan, and my metric number is CD17123 and I'm from Computer Science and Software Engineer Department. Without the Judeo-Christian worldview, the West as we know it would not exist. So many of the social goods of the West which we enjoy and too often take, the, take for granted such as democracy, freedoms of various kinds, even the fruits of scientific and technological progress which has made life so much easier in recent centuries can be traced directly back to the Christian worldview. Europe were polytheistic but not homogeneous. Roman religion was similar to but not the same as Hellenic religion. Many Europeans from the north, especially uh, Scandin Scandinavians, remained polytheistic. Christianity, including the Roman Catholic Church and the Orthodox Church, has played a prominent role in the shopping of Western civilization since at least the 4th century, as the Judaism. Moreover, religion has waned considerably in Europe where many are today religious. That's all from us. Thank you for watching our video.
Hi, I'm Jennifer Silverajan. My matrix number is KH17043 and I'm from Faculty of Chemical Engineering and Natural Resources. Generalized usage of some form of the Latin or Greek alphabets are derived forms such as Cyrix used by those southern and eastern Slavic countries of Christian Orthodox tradition. Other variants of the Latin of Greek alphabets are found in the Gothican or Coptic alphabets which historically suspended older script such as Runs and the Egypt's democratic and system. Re Reco Roman classic letters, arts, agriculture, philosophers and culture traditional which includes the influence of prominent Otto and philosophers such as Crotus. Western cultures sometimes equated with Western civilization used very broadly to refer to a heritage of social norm, ethical values, traditional custom. These are the same examples of Western costumes. Thank you for watching. Domination means dominance and control of one group over other group with or without the trait of force. There are many types of Western domination, which is media, politics and economy. Domination in media, it is called as neo-colonialism towards the Islamic countries. The dark situation overwhelmed among Muslims all over the world. The term of insulphobia arises. A series of hemophony to conquer and expand the power by attacking on Afghanistan, Iraq, Iran and etc. But they just ignore the act of Zionism and Israel regime towards the Muslim and Palestine. Example of domination in media First, domination towards language Second, labeling Islam as the terrorism network Third, promote the ideas Islam is terrorist Domination in politics USA among the most powerful to dominate and control United Nations with the better power besides others, superpower countries Russia, United Kingdom, Francis and China. USA involves directly which claims themselves as world policy. Domination in economy, the situation are control the world through their economic policy or the agenda of market liberalization. Example, international banking systems such international monetary fund and World Bank give the money to Indonesia. We say control the world currency. This video is about important in building a civilization. The issue that comes to be present is about a globalization. My name is Dashna Dr. Kandrathan and I am the presenter of presenting this video. Globalization, what is globalization? Globalization is considered a historical process of fast growing interconnection in every sphere of social, political, and economic life across political and national countries. Definition Globalization also refers to the shift towards a more integrated and interdependent world economy and its effect on politics, social, and health. It is a process that makes the world sense the strength of the global world. Futures of globalization First, business Second, technology Third, culture 
causes of globalization first improvement of transport second establishment of international organization third emergence of global problems fourth rise of transnational cooperation lastly development of communication growth of globalization or advantage of globalization both increases economic prosperity and opportunity and quality market second quality of life is not partnership for new solution in science and technology lastly increased lifespan Cons of globalization or this advantage of globalization first increase environmental damage, second increase poverty, inequality and injustice, third erosion of traditional culture, for the risk of global interconnected and forward knowledge, lastly corporation are motivated by profit and future content of the Examples of globalization image. Lastly, conclusion, whether we realize it or not, most important reality in today's challenging the Islamic civilization and the civilization of Asia is the globalization of material culture created and dominated by the modern Western world. Lastly, we come to the ending part. Thank you for watching this video. First, civilization differentiated by history, language, culture, and religion. Second, the interaction between people of different civilizations are increasing. Third, the social change separating people from long-standing local identity. Fourth, the growth of civilization consciousness enhanced by dual role of wealth. The 
the world will be shaped in large measure by the interactions among seven or eight major civilizations. For example, Western, Islamic, Japanese and Hindu. The most important conflicts of the future will occur along the cultural fault line separating these civilizations from one another. Hypothesis of theory. The fundamental source of conflict in this world will not be primarily ideological or economical. Next, dominating the source of conflict will be people's conflict and religious identity. The principal conflict of global politics occur between different civilizations. Evidence that endorsed the theory. In 2001, the attack on the World Trade Center and Pentagon view as big conflict between Western and Islam. And in 1996, the US military was killed in an attack at Saudi Arabia. In 1993, World Trade Center was attacked by Ramzi Ahmad Yusuf. Hello guys, I'm Steviani from section 6G. I will explain about the development of Western civilization starting from Reformation until modern. Reformation This was a time of extended and often violent conflict between Catholics and Protestants made all the more complex because of the growing power of Europe's great monarchies. It was a time when nations grew in size, wealth and autonomy and when national boundaries were hardened, prefiguring the countries we know today such as France Spain and England. This was also a period of colon colonization when European powers divided and exploited the world's natural resources and people for their own benefit. Next, enlightenment. In many ways, it furthers the interests in the individual scene in the Italian Renaissance and more widely during the Protestant Reformation. The thinkers start to exist. The American and French revolutions led to this period. The emerging middle classes and, uh, and later the working classes began a centuries-long campaign to gain political power challenging the control of the aristocracy and monarchy. Lastly, modern. Capitalism became the dominant economic system during this period. Individual risked capital to produce goods in a currency-based market which depended on inexpensive wage labor. The standard of living increases. London, Paris, New York led the unprecedented population growth of cities during this period as people move from the countryside or immigrate to, to find a higher standard living. The 20th century was the most violent in history. This included the two world wars. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. 
my name is Nur Nazia Binti Muhammad and my ID number is AA101132. I would like to explain about the contribution of Western civilization to mankind during the past. The ancient Greeks and Romans were perhaps two of the greatest civilization of the ancient world. The two civilizations thrived in their ancient environment which eventually led to a vast amount of prosperity within these cultures. Because of this prosperity, that these ancient cultures were able to make a variety of advancements in literature, architecture, art, and variety of other fields. This civilization also produced some greatest writers, leaders, and philosophers. This civilization also made a number of contributions to Western civilization in the form of advancement in literature, architecture, art, government, and philosophy. For great civilization, uh, they have passed the democratic system of government, uh, such as in legal, an assembly hall enacted laws. The importance of the law was plotted by Plato in his book Republic. In power expenses, Philip II of Macedonia united the Macedonia and Greek kingdoms. Alexander the Greek expanded the Greek suburbs by occupying Persians, Egypt, Turkistan, Samarkand, and the entire Mediterranean Sea. In economic, all city states except Sparta concentrate on trade because of the terrain of the land and not suitable for agriculture. As a result, its trade is carried out in coastal areas such as Egypt, Syria, and Phoenicians. In philosophy, philosophers are human beings who use common sense to think continuously to find logical and rational answers to questions related to their daily life and environment. Uh, in philosophy, they have famous philosophers such as Herodotus, Socrates, Aristotle, and Plato. And in the Greek civilization also have architecture, language and literature and other fields that mankind to our civilization today. That's all. Thank you. Assalamualaikum and hi. My name is Nurul Hamizah Binti Hamdan. My ID number is AA17059. I was given the subtopic which is the contribution of Western civilization to mankind during the past. But I would like to talk about the contribution of Roman civilization. In Western civilization, Greek and Romans were perhaps two of the greatest civilization of the ancient world. Roman civilization also made a number of contributions to Western civilization in the form of advancement in architecture, and art, government, philosophy, and literature. There are some wrong contributions to Western civilization to mankind today. In terms of law and politics, the Roman civilization passed the Republican system. The system is practiced in India, France, and South Africa. The Roman legal system and Roman law remain the foundation of the legal system of Western civilization. This law affected every aspect of economy, social, and political life. Roman law regulated business, family life, individual rights, and through the framework of empire international law as well. Roman law greatly unified the empire and ensured its citizens equal protection before the law, protection of individual rights, and the security of property. Architecture. The Romans developed and mastered the use of concrete. They effectively construct arch, dome, column, and underground utility system with concrete application. Two of their most famous structures in Rome itself is Circumstance and the legendary Colosseum. Many Romans buildings are still in use today. Romans building technique remain a heavy influence in construction of modern st structure. Last but not least is literature. The Romans were great writers. They wrote incisively in law, politics, history, philosophy, and science. It's heavily influenced by the Greek learning. Example, some, some famous Roman author of history and literature whose writing has been preserved for photo posterity as listed as follow. Thank you. 
Hi and Assalamualaikum. My name is Nur Nakihani binti Muhammad Razi. My metric number is AA17161. Today, I would like to present about the emergence of Western civilization. As we know, the West is that civilization which grew up in Western Europe after the end of the Roman Empire. Its roots lay in the civilizations of ancient Greece and Rome, which themselves built on foundations laid in ancient Egypt and Mesopotamia. It took shape in medieval Europe, with its Christian religion, feudal society, dispersed power structures, and growing economic dynamism. It was in the modern era that Western civilization took flight. However, it spread from Europe to the North and South America, Australasia, and much of the rest of the world. It achieved a level of economic power which far surpassed that of any other civilization. It developed the habit of systematic scientific and technological advance, and it evolved a unique set of personal freedoms which gave its culture an utterly different flavor to anything that had come before. The myth's ancestry of Western civilization gave it a rich heritage to draw on. Greek achievements in mathematics, science, philosophy and art, and Roman developments in law, government and technology all had a deep impact on later European civilization. The religion of Christianity deriving from the Middle East but absorbed into Greco-Roman civilization constituted one of the great pillars of the medieval and modern West. Added to these elements were major Indian, Chinese and Arabian achievements in science and technology transmitted to Europe via the Islamic world and the Mongol Empire. Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera I am Noa Amanah binti Norisham KA 17074 I am here to present for Western Civilization which focus on the development of Western Civilization The starting of the Civilization of Western is in 400 BC where it is also commonly known as the Golden Age of Greece this period, during this period, uh, the Greeks uh, start to think and write creatively. 
So we continue on in 79 AD. It happened in Pompeii where the volcano erupted. The volcano of what's the name? Eh? Vesuvian erupted that caused a lot of damage. After AD, the Roman Empire had its huge strike where their power covered all over the place. During this time, their ruler was Augustus and continue on 300 AD, the Emperor of Roman Empire, which is named Constantine, was the first emperor become Christian. Due to, <laughs> due, to, due to his Christianity, uh, the Roman Empire became Christian too. Uh, later on in 400, the Roman Empire had its huge fall due to the barbarian invasion. After the fall of Roman Empire, there comes the Middle Ages, which is from 400 to thousand spirit where Europe become less civilized which means less people are living in the cities and there'll be less writing and less art this also known as the dark ages in the 600 Islam starts to spread all over the Middle East North Africa and Spain continuing on in 1095 where the crusades war happens i believe that most of you guys know it as perang salib yes perang salib where they try to take over by two Maktis from muslims in 1300s to 1400s renaissance period happened which is the transition period of from middle ages to modern era during this time, they are more known as the rediscovery of Roman Empire and Greek culture. Yeah, so that is all from me. Thank you. I'm very sorry if you guys don't understand. Bye.